I just feel like, you know, even though you may not be married, it's just some things are just common sense of how to behave around a married couple. Mm -hmm. And for me, I don't even like to stand and look someone's husband eye to eye and carry on more than a three minute conversation. Mm -hmm. So when she, we go to exchange telephone numbers, like I was telling somebody the other day, every type of communication that you have with this couple needs to go through the wife. Like, and you should know that at some point in your life. And if you overstep that boundary, then your intentions were wrong from the beginning. Portia wrote a coloring book about wanting to be R. Kelly's main girl, despite him having a wife Leaving a woman that was screaming to be let out of R. Kelly's sex cult, she fantasized about her ex-husband being her man when he was in a public relationship with his baby mother. Then she's engaged to a dude whose soon-to-be ex-wife was her co-worker. She met both of them on the show at the same time and started an affair with him. So yeah, journalists are going to ask basic questions and not stroke your ego. Damn. Mm -mm, mm -mm, I'm sorry. I work for Dish Nation. I am in the world of journalism. So my uh, word now needs to be... Journalism is... <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're downplaying my job? This word right here is killing me. What's this? Reciprocation? Reciprocation? Let me see, Portia. It's a bit. It's, it's, Reprocity? It's, Reprocity. We're no, uh-uh, no. no. Look it. At it. Come look at it. Come look at it. Look. Give me a minute. <laughs> Reciprocity. The game so Reciprocity. Art mess, child. I would like Portia to spell scepter. So. <laughs> It's almost hurtful to me to watch her be so dumb. Somebody wrote it, that's on 265 days a year. What is wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> that's not the season. Yeah, that's not the season. Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Gravadia is in the building. <laughs> See ya. Well, I guess Portia Williams is coming back to the Real Housewives of Atlanta because for Portia Gravadia filed for divorce, child, and we don't even know if that's truly her real name because you all know I've been reporting about it that the man re-entered this country after being deported due to his criminal past under a fake name and fake identity got his paperwork on that fake identity, and then decided to file for a citizenship in this country on that fake identity. And that's how he was caught. For those of you who missed that video, I have linked that video in the description below. If you want more information on Portia filing for divorce, I have linked that video in the description below. Now let's get into the current topic. Thank you all so much for the amazing happy birthday messages. I will get back to you and all of your comments and responses. Just hang in there with me. Now because it's my birthday, I shouldn't even be on YouTube doing any of this right now. But this one is very easy, okay? Portia hopped on Instagram Live to talk about the new season, the new ladies, and all of that. So let's get into it. How are y'all doing? Hey y'all, I am so excited, y'all. Woo! Today is the first day filming. Um, whew, I have two scenes, so I did one this morning. You see me in my little, you know, legally blonde outfit, honey, looking amazing like L. Um, and then I'm about to go to another scene. Um, I can't tell y'all who with, but. <laughs> I can't tell y'all who the scene is with, but, um, oh, my tongue is green. You know what? My hairstylist who came and did me last night, Audi, gave me some Jolly Ranchers from, um, not Jolly Ranchers, some Now Laters from Decatur Baby, and I've been tearing them up. So I'm about to be on TV with these, with this damn green tongue, baby. Okay? That's what it's going to look like. Somebody said, why you start, why you, why you acting like you just started filming for the first time? That's why I gotta act. What's that? That's not an act. 
That's the act. I really did. <laughs> oh, yes, and Cynthia is back. Did y'all see the announcement? Did y'all see all the girls? Did y'all see who's going to be on the show? Let's talk about that. Did y'all see? Did you see? Honey, Cynthia Bailey is back in the building, and I'm really excited about that. To be honest with y'all, I had no idea Cynthia was going to be on the show again. Like, I, I remember her mentioning, like, Portia, are you going to go back? You know, what are you going to do? I don't know. You know, let me know. And I think I just forgot. It was just, like, too much going on. But, yes, the Cynthia coming with a friend, with the friendship contract, baby. I love it. Um, and then, most of all, did y'all see my boo, Shamia? Yes. <laughs> y'all, like, got me a friend on the show. <laughs> Yes, baby, it's going down, it's going down, down, down. Shamia, first year with the peach. She deserve it, been needed it, should have got it, ain't got it. I'm excited, I'm super, super excited. But most of all, I just want to see y'all, right? I miss y'all, it's been three years. Honestly, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. When I got on the camera today, I was like looking at the camera and to the lens, I was like forgetting what I wanted to say. Like it was like brand new Portia all over again. I swear. Like I am so rusty. I don't even know what to say in front of the camera. I'm just basically just being me again because y'all might actually even get another three. Uh, what is it? Two sixty five out of me. Okay, and another underground railroad. Because when I tell y'all, I don't know what to do with these cameras. They're so brand new. Like. <laughs> I mean, I've been gone for three years. Can y'all imagine? I've been missing y'all for three years. I've been missing y'all, but I've been living my life. But, like, whoa, it was, it felt brand new to me. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, baby, my lips were like, yeah, I probably should need to take a little shot. Yeah, somebody said you need some Hennessy. Yeah, I might, okay, for the next scene I do, I'm gonna drink a little bit. Matter of fact, let me have a little shot right now. Let me, let me, y'all, y'all gonna wait. Let me take a little. Let me take a little sip, sip, sip right now because, baby, baby, I was like, y'all, I was literally sitting up on that camera. I know I done said some things that I said I wasn't going to say. Like, I think that's one of the things. When you have been on the show for so long, like some of the vets on the show, when you sit on the show... You start editing yourself. You know what I'm saying? You start, like, thinking about what you want to say before you say it. Or, like, oh, if I say this, will it come off wrong? Or, you know, maybe, you know, this is what I want the narrative to be. But when you are rusty or brand new to the show, you just kind of lie. It's like it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it was really good. My first my first <laughs> scene was... It was really good, and this next one about to be even better, because thank you for that suggestion, because I probably need to take the edge off the boo. Woo! Get a cognac, honey, a cognac. Cheers to us, right? Cheers to us. We back, baby. We doing the damn thing. This season is about to be crazy. Now, I know y'all are not that familiar with the new girls on the show. Honestly, neither am I. But I will say this. They some bad bitches. They are. They are. They are established. Um, they are gorgeous. They are businesswomen. They are mothers. And they are, I feel like they're going to bring that fresh energy that we've been looking for. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like y'all. I'm serious. I'm like y'all. I have actually been watching the show not continuously, but time to time, I'll catch like clips online and stuff like that. And you know, you can see what it needs. Don't get me wrong. The girls held it down. Candy did her damn thing. Everybody else, they did their thing. Kenya did their damn thing. You know, Sheree, they all did their thing. But I will say that it's, it's always like, we just need that. You know, after a while, you know, like in a marriage, you need to kind of Oh, let me not use marriage as an example. What? <laughs> let me not uh, use a marriage as an example. But, you know, basically, if you're in a relationship and you need to, like, bring back the oomph, I feel like these new girls are going to bring that. Oh, I want to get to know her. 
Oh, I want to hear what she got to say. That. Because when you have them people on the show and you just be like, bitch, I don't really care what you have to say. You know, I don't care about your perspective. I don't care whether you lying or telling the truth. You're boring. I don't know if these girls, I'm, I, don't, I can't say them well enough to say I won't call one of them boring. But I will say that they have a lot going on in their life. I'm interested in them. I want to get to know them. I feel like, you know, when you have women who come on the show, what the hell? This earring is too big. Oh, where did it go? Um, I need to get another back. That's what it is. I need to get another back to this earring. But I was saying, once you, once you have somebody who has like real life going on, then that makes you interested. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know me. Y'all already know some of my tea. You're going to learn more. We know Kenya is amazing. She Wait, where's my... Hold on, I'm trying to find... Don't y'all hate that? Like, I honestly... I need to go back to Amazon and see if they have... I need to go on Amazon. Y'all see I was eating Popeye's. <laughs> I need to go on Amazon and see if they have some more earring bags. Because this, this thing, the car be here to pick me up. Now, y'all know, y'all know this scene about to be lit when they sit in a car. Who? Huh? When has Housewives ever sent a car? Baby, we're taking it up this season. You hear me? They sent a car for me. My first scene, they sent a car, and they sent a car now. Come on. We're going to the next level, baby. Okay, let me see if these going to work. I can't be in the middle of a conversation or a read and my earring falling off. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, I think that's good. So, um, oh, you wanna see my nails close up? I just got them done. But y'all, I'm telling you, the new girls, y'all get excited. They are, they're gonna be, I'm, I'm going to tell you what they're going to be when I really, really meet them. But what I know of them, I think they're going to add something to the show. And who else we got? We got Drew. You know, she is bomb. And who else? Yeah, that's it. That's like all we need, right? Y'all think I should just take one more? Just, just one. Yeah, Shamia. I know. Now, y'all know I am excited because, listen... I definitely have had friends on the show before. Y'all know I had Phaedra on the show with me. And, you know, I've had friends on the show. But, like, to be able to have... And, yes, Shamia has also filmed over the years. But it's different when you, you know, are the main character. You know what I'm saying? So now y'all get to learn more about her, see more about her family, her life, and all of that. And our true dynamic. Not just, like, in scene when we're arguing with someone, you know, something like that. Like, you can really see, like, the sisterhood of it all. So gonna be lit did we agree that we were doing one more did we agree so again did we say we were i need somebody to take a shot with me is it almost five o'clock somewhere is it shot o'clock what why not shot time okay i'm gonna give y'all a couple more minutes and then we're gonna take a shot and y'all i gotta go because like i said they're sending a car for you girl and the car will be here at uh 4 30 okay Okay, we're taking a shot. Oh, okay. Somebody said we're taking a shot or not. All right, ready? All right. Sweet 16 is on its way. Woo! Cheers. Mmm. I hope whoever I'm meeting is nice to me. Because <laughs> y'all done got me started with the Henny on the way to the scene. <laughs> And y'all know, listen, do y'all remember, do y'all remember when I was pregnant, baby, that mouth, I had no filter. And like, honestly, when you're going through a divorce, you have no filter. So, um, I just hope that they're nice and sweet and yeah, all that. So anyway, I gotta go. I love y'all so, so much. Okay. All right, y'all. I love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Okay. 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 <laughs> well there you have it there's only so much you can say i am looking forward to seeing but Portia seems excited and all of that so we shall see anyways i'm wishing all of you well and take care 
I love. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're ready to post it. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.